These are the letter forms that are based on a round letter O. Remembering to keep your pen at 27 to 30 degrees, a nice round letter O should give you within it a counter, which is the white space that's a beautiful oval, as you can see here. And this obviously gives rise to the letters C. And for that you can, if you wish, turn your pen onto the left-hand corner of the nib, as I showed you in the last calligraphy clip, and just flick it. The letter E and the letter E in the St Cuthbert Gospel is quite often joined to another letter. And so you start that third stroke from the bowl of the letter E. So there, second stroke, third stroke starts here so that you can extend it onto another letter if it joins. The letter G has an angled downstroke. Let me do that again. Angled downstroke. Put its top on and just twist. The letter Q, again, we're really round based on that letter O and down to the descender line. And just to emphasize, this second stroke is flat. If you pull that down too much to something like that, then you get a very ugly combination of strokes. So once you've done the bowl, that stroke is flat and then down. The letter M starts like you would letter C, very round. Now the down stroke. And with the letter M, I like to do a stroke backwards and I'll show you why before I do this. Because I do like that slight thickening there. Let me do that again, nib again held as with all the letter forms 27 to 30 degrees, pull it down to the left to give you that slight thickening and then finish the bowl. The letter D is the letter O as before and then it has quite a high second stroke, which should meet up far better than it did there. So we have the bowl starts at the line, top plug guideline for ascenders, and then meets up there. This, with every letter D in any alphabet, is difficult because where do you start this? If you start it too far over, the letter looks as though it's falling over. If you start it too far to the left, you have this really pretty ghastly stroke. And I'm afraid to say it's one of those things that it's only with practice that you know where to start that stroke and it should join up neatly there. And then the last letter form in this family is the letter U. which starts with a little sort of serif, a little tail on the left hand side going to the right. And if you want to draw a letter or write a letter Y based on the letter U, then you simply take the descender down. Let me just do that again to show you. Nice round. Remember, this is a very round family based on that round letter O. Think all sorts of fattening foods like double dairy cream when you're writing it. And that's the end of the letter forms, letter family based on the letter O.